Okay, it's Christmas time. I have this sitting on my desk. It's some sweet music. I'm gonna turn it low because I don't know about copyrights, but this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make some, well, not that low. We're gonna make these bookmarks, okay? I am learning a new craft. I did this a long time ago, this embroidery stuff, and I'm not saying I'm good at it. I'm saying I'm trying it because we try new things all the time as crafters, don't we? So, as you can see, that got a little smushy. But the felt corner is where the page goes. You just stick your page in there and then you have a bookmark which I forgot to illustrate, but I think you can t probably tell where the bookmark would be appropriate to fit. So this is what we need. We need some felt. We need some embroidery floss. We need some um, paper, scrapbook paper, pages, book pages, anything that you want to use for the uh, three inch square that we're gonna make for a base. So, I got my fire going. Yeah, it's battery operated. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I did was I got some papers that I am gonna be using. I tried to coordinate some colors, but I wanna show you, this is scrapbook paper and you don't have to use that. If you don't have wanna go and buy one, use what you have. You can use something like an old calendar. Now this is from 2017. I was throwing it away and then I looked and I saw those birds and I thought that would be nice for a project. You could cut out a square there if you wanted to for a bird lover. And then thinking about the junk journal in me, you could take just a scrap paper and then you could take a book page and then glue them together and then you have your base. So we have to start off making a base. So this base, I will tell you about that base later. Now, today I'm gonna use a file folder for a base. Let me just reach over here and grab it. I was going to cut it on my exacto cutting block thingy, but I keep getting distracted. Whenever I walk around my class, I get dis so distracted. Like right now, okay, it's Christmas time. This is my favorite candle. Well, I actually use it all year round. I like to light the candle and get it smelling good in here. It's just, you know, using all your senses. That's what we do, right? All right, so we're gonna take what we need for right now and put all the rest of this stuff away. So I'm gonna make my base. I'm measuring it uh, three inches by three inches. So I'm going to have a block of three inches and then I will take my scrapbook paper and I will make the same size, three inches. And then I'll glue those two pieces together, making sure that it's not too thick. So that's what my problem was when I first made this project. I glued too many things together and thinking it was too thin and it made it too thick and it doesn't stay on the book pages. So now I'm going to take out the felt and I'm going to cut it to the square and then in order to make it even because I didn't like how the other one was I'm just going to cut it in half and that should make it fit just about right yeah and it does so now we are ready to pick out a design and um, stop 
playing around with the embroidery floss. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. So I've got some here and I'm trying to pick out what I want to do. I've decided that I want to do winter berries, which are those red berries that you see in the winter, at least in New England you do. And some people put them in wreaths because I'm going to make this for a friend who, um, who likes those. And I do too. So I'm digging through all my colors and with the embroidery floss you need to break it down from six strands to three strands and I had some pieces already so I'm going to try to utilize them. You do have to use a special embroidery needle. It's a longer needle and it's always good to stop and take a sip of your tea while it's still warm. I had to heat it twice already. So now I am trying to think about the design that I'm making. Doing a little procrastinating is what I'm doing. So I'm going to use a pen or marker here and just start off by drawing the initial. And I want to make sure that I draw the initial the right direction this time. I want it to be um, horizontal. So I lay the felt down and then draw the initial. And then continue to think about what design. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the winterberries, but I don't really know what that is. So I just start drawing some lines that look like sticks and then we'll see how I'm going to make them. I don't really know yet. I'm going to try to do a back stitch, I think. I know I have this knotted, this knot down. That's the good part, but I don't have the other stitches down and it can get a little frustrating, but it's not gonna stop me because I'm gonna keep working on this and get this done.
This is definitely a not a tutorial. I didn't get up close. I thought I was closer than I was when I was filming, but um, I didn't even have a plan anyways. I couldn't figure out how to do the knots to make the berries look plumper. So I just started um, moving the needle around and I'll describe what I was doing in just a second, but I think it came out okay and I'm hoping that maybe you can get some motivation to do your own in your own. So I'm making a loop and then I'm coming up in the middle of that loop and then I'm tacking it down gently. So then it kind of makes a berry. So I come through the back. I purposely make a loop so I'm not pulling it all the way through. And I come back from the back, go through the loop gently, and then just go down and just tack it, tack the loop down. And depending on how you pull the thread, you can get a lumpy loop or you can get a thready loop. So that one is pulled right to the bottom. And again, I have no idea what I'm, well, I have a little bit of an idea and I'm just playing around. I mean, this can be tedious to me. So I, I'm just doing enough of it to have fun and to not overwhelm me. And if that's your thing, then maybe you'll be inspired by this. Because I'm not going to be an expert at this, I can tell. Because it just, I don't have hand memory. I don't have a lot of experience with this. And I'm not sure that I want to have a lot of experience with it. Just enough to get my project done. See, I mean, I keep losing my thread here. And I'm sure people that have been doing this for a lot of years, they they're not even watching this video. And maybe there's some people that are watching the video that are not even that have so much more experience than me or maybe they have none and every video that I make my goal is always that I can maybe teach somebody something or maybe get them inspired to do something and so that's that's the goal of my video is to answer the question how can I teach but let me look and see how it goes on this card. It feels like it needs something there, but I don't know what. All right, there's a loop. Now I'm going to go, see, I've gone up into that loop. Then I come up and then I slow that, slow my roll down there. And then go back down, like right in there. And then be gentle. Loop. And then come back. So I was all off camera. I had to delete a whole bunch of stuff. I'm trimming. I glued with some Fabri-Tac and I re-filmed the ending. I was so off camera. I was trying to be too close and then I didn't get close enough so I had to redo the end of this. This is how it came out. It's nice. The berries look actually better than I thought they would. Uh, I think they kind of look a, like a winter berry 
And the green looks better in person than it does on camera, I think. So really, all in all, this took me an hour to make. But if you were sitting down in front of the TV and you wanted to just practice like I did here, then, you know, maybe you'll enjoy the craft more than I did. <laughs> but, but I'm just trying to be honest here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.